And this is a really good tip if you have a hard time feeling hip thrust in your glutes sometimes. Noah and I wanted to announce that a quick grocery haul. today because I like to look back at my vlogs and see what I was doing, what my life looked like, stuff like that. And I've officially hit the three month mark at my new job. I saw a vlog where it's like working from home. I'm gonna put some sunblock on even though it's not sunny today just because I've been trying to take care of my skin more before my wedding. I mean I want to take care of my skin in general but because I'm getting married I'm like using that as like motivation because I have really bad acne scarring and I don't want it. Also, they're doing construction outside. So that, that's been going on for months now. The only thing I'm gonna do for makeup, I actually don't have, I was just gonna do sunblock. This is glow screen and then eyebrows, but I can't find eyebrow pencil. One minute. Okay, I've got it. So I have a meeting today and then I have two meetings tomorrow, and I think that's all the meetings I have this week, so that's why I want to put eyebrows on. We had a little change of plans. My boss texted me um, when I just had clocked in a second ago and said that she is going to take the day off, so I actually don't have any meetings today. Yeah, I'm just going to be working like independently the entire day, which is... My favorite part about working from home is that I can just like sit down and work and if I stay busy, like yesterday I stayed busy all day, um, it was like 3 o'clock and I was like oh I should take a lunch break and I had no idea because I work from 8.30 to 4.30 and I can take like a 30 minute lunch whenever I want, which I don't think I need to take a lunch break so I've only been here 3 months so I don't really know the exact policies and stuff but I think I can just like clock out a half an hour early and the last 30 minutes will be like considered my lunch break because we do get paid for that. I think we can do that. So I lay here on the couch <laughs> when I just like, I'm just like working all day and doing like simple stuff. This is a pile of clean laundry that I need to fold. <laughs> and this is my heating pad because I'm on my period and I've been putting this on my stomach while I lay here on my laptop. <laughs> I'm gonna make some red raspberry leaf tea because it's good for menstrual cramps, which I'm not like super crampy or anything. I just have like this heavy discomfort while I'm on my period. Red raspberry leaf tea works really, really well for whatever reason, especially if you drink it like, I think it's two or three days prior to your period starting, then it really helps. But I forgot to do that this year, this month. So we'll just drink it on my period, which I think is still helpful. But if you have like really bad cramps where you need like pain medication, 
it's probably not helpful. I can't imagine. Also, if your periods are like irregular, so you can't plan to start drinking it before your period starts, then also probably not helpful. I put a little bit of lemon in my tea because I don't think it tastes really good. It kind of needs a little bit of like lemon or sugar or something like that. I think it should be good with just lemon. Usually how I drink it is I ice it in the morning and then I put just like a little bit of red raspberry lemonade in it and like extra lemon juice and it's good iced. But today we're drinking it hot because it's cold out and I think it'll just be cozy. And then for breakfast I'm making, I have a hash brown drying. I actually need to flip that. And then when it's about done, I'm gonna add, this is a Beyond sausage from these. And then I'm going to put it on a bun Ooh, with some Aldi cheese. My camera battery is about to die, so I don't know if I'll be able to show you. It's Aldi vegan cheese, so it will just be a sausage hash brown cheese and ketchup on a bun. I just made a cup of hot chocolate because I'm about out of work to do. Wait a minute, did I get more? No, never mind. I only have like eight more files to work and then I'm done for work today, which I'm like, I'm hourly, so I have to work from 8.30 to 4.30. I can't just be like, oh, I'm done with my work. I thought that today I was gonna like have a bunch of work to do. I was gonna stay busy, but that's not really the case because I don't have that meeting that I was gonna have. But I'll probably have it tomorrow, so I have the meeting at like, we'll move it to nine tomorrow and then I have an 11 o'clock or three o'clock, so I'll just be like in meetings almost all day. I feel like this might be a little bit of a weird vlog because I can't show you my work because I work in healthcare. Also, this whipped cream is the coconut whip from Aldi. Aldi's been coming out with a lot of vegan stuff recently. I wanted to announce that we're buying a house. Noah and I finally put an offer on a house and it got accepted. I was planning on making like just one big video of like looking at houses, putting offers in, getting rejected, the, the entire process. But the second house that we had looked at once we started filming, which I actually didn't film anything in that house just because I, I don't feel like confident sometimes. Didn't film anything, should have taken my camera in, but I just like wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I offer got accepted. So we had three inspections done that didn't, they came back like not super bad. Like there's nothing structurally wrong. Like the foundation's fine. The, there's no like mold or anything like that but we're also like just long lists of little things. So the past owners that live there, they lived there for five years and they just completely neglected to take care of things the right way. So anytime something would fix, they would just like put a bandaid on it. And now there's like all of the stuff that they did that all needs fixed on top of like just regular wear and tear stuff. We have to do three more inspections. We did have to extend our inspection. We we're gonna do 10 days of inspections and now we're doing 17 days of inspections because we need to do three more because we're now that we know that they just kind of like half-assed a bunch of stuff. We want to like really check every little thing. Yeah, hopefully if those come back like also bad, we might just back out because it's so, so, so much to fix possibly, but because it is our first house, so we would not, not be like flipping it, but like we do in expect to like have to work on it and and make it nicer than it was when we moved in like we do expect that because it's a first house but yeah it's just sad because it's such a nice house in terms of like where it is and like it has everything that we want um it's sad that it was like neglected i guess so much yeah i wanted to update you here just because i feel like this process is going to be so long that i don't want like if i do make one video it's going to be like going back months and months and months before i'll still make that video like summing everything up i wanted to like announce it i guess now even though it's obviously not official. I think that's all I wanted to say about the house. I'm gonna make crock pot, ooh, crock pot 
chilly tonight while I'm on my lunch break right now. And it's gonna be, I think, give me beans. I think these are chili beans. Okay, chili beans. And then maybe black beans or lentils or chickpeas. I don't really know. Oh, we have macaroni. This is all the macaroni. One of these will be the third can. And then I'll also do, I think, I texted my mom to ask her how spicy these are because my mom gave me these. They're from her garden. And then I'll have some onion. I'm gonna fry it. Oh, she's calling me. My mom was giving me instructions on how to cook with these peppers and she told me that they're not hot. She said that both of them would be fine, half of the onion, some garlic, also from her garden. And then this is what I'm going to do. This is the best sauce, my mom says. I don't notice the difference. And then tomato paste, kidney beans, chili beans. And then lentils because they'll give it more of a beef flavor or a beef like texture. So that is what I'm doing on my lunch break. Everything has been added, whoops, and I still have six minutes, Ooh, I don't know if you can see it, six minutes on my lunch break left, nice. I might add some fresh tomatoes, like cut up. Ready to go to the grocery store, here's the fit check, I uh, wear this outfit all the time, just like whatever, flare pants, white sneakers bodysuit. Uh, it's from Goodwill, but it's like Nasty Gal or something like that. And then cardigan, also secondhand, and then just like wallet and phone. And my phone stolen from the grocery store the other day at, at Kogu, and so now I keep it like on my body. I'm gonna film a quick grocery haul. By the way, everything was $25. I always like to know how much everything is just because it's interesting how like prices vary based off of where we live. This is what I went for because we always put these in the bottom of the bowl and then put the chili on top and like eat, scoop the chili with like the chips. I don't know. It's good. It does have soy. I've been eating soy recently if it's like small amounts. And then nutritional yeast pizza cheese for my fiance, he eats dearly. And then unbleached flour because I make homemade pizza dough and like, I try to make everything from scratch as much as possible. Um, but since I got my new job, I haven't been cooking as much, especially like homemade bread and like that kind of stuff. And then I've been drinking a lot of like hot chocolates and like, hot teas and hot like lattes and I use oat milk but I got this instead because it was cheaper so this way I'll have like protein hot chocolate and protein lattes and then I'll probably have like 20 to 25 grams of protein just in drinks during the day if I have like a hot chocolate and a latte like I did today and then oatmeal I know these are like unhealthy but I add quick oats to these so i have like a little jar of quick oats with like a protein scoop in it and i'll scoop a, like a protein scoop full of quick oats into this to like dilute it a little bit so it's not as sweet but if if you like them like no shame i eat the whole thing sometimes it's not that bad it's only oats brown sugar and natural flavor of salt so i personally think they're fine but i know that other like almost like orthorexic uh, promoting people might say otherwise. 
And then I got more tea. I talked about this earlier, the red raspberry leaf tea. I think I only have like two tea bags left. And then I noticed today while I was cooking my chili that I was out of chili powder. So I got more of that. It was only like $1.99 too. I thought it was gonna be expensive. So not too bad. That's everything I got. Okay, I gotta show you the move with the chili and the chips. This is my bowl from lunch. You put, this is hard to do with one hand. In there. In there. Oh, this is probably gonna like drip and make a mess. And also, stop focusing. Nutritional yeast, which is almost out. That's why I bought more, but I'm gonna top it. Hello. It's the next day. And I feel like I need to complete the video with a workout. So I'm at the gym. I didn't work out yesterday. So I feel like since I make fitness videos, I need to work out in order to make this video complete. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do today. So I just walked in. I'm gonna try to figure something out. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. I just did a bunch of hip thrusts. I think I did like five working sets and then like one warm-up set, something like that. And shoulders and then one set of abs. This has been my workout routine, like my go-to workout recently because of my new work schedule. I've been liking to just work out three nights a week. And on those nights I do um, hip thrusts or Bulgarian split squats as my like main movement. And then I'll do like upper body. I'm focusing a lot on my upper back because of my posture. Like look how I'm sitting right now. <laughs> Um, so I'll do like shoulders or upper back, something like that. And then like biceps and triceps occasionally. And then like one set of abs. Um, I did want to show you how I did hip thrust. After I was tired with my working sets, I went down to just a 45 plate. And this is a really good tip if you have a hard time feeling hip thrust in your glutes sometimes. It's just to lower the weight. Shoot up as fast as you can, like a powerful um, thrust, I guess and then hold it for a second at the top and slowly lower and then shoot back up and hold for a second and slowly lower. Definitely recommend that if you want to like really burn out your glutes, especially at the end of your workout, the end of your like hip thrust session. Well, you can just do it like that all the time. And then today's shoulder session was just a bunch of random shoulders. I've really been prioritizing like, I think this is like delts recently because just because I've been liking the look of them, I guess. I don't know, so I've been prioritizing shoulders as well because I've been liking how I look in like tank tops and stuff. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please subscribe to support me. I love you. Bye.